I'm, I'm David, the, the artist of the uh, I'm Nicholas. I I wrote most of of the papers here. I'm um, Deshaun. I read the app. Okay. So this is what we we're making. See, it's like a pig that has sensors in it. It's, it's basically like an electric pig, but it like tells you what's like the wrong there, like signals for your hair. And like this but also for your hair. Like let's say that you have hair like mine and you have a lot of naps in it, right? <laughs> Spray it and then apply it. All the nap, all the naps go away. And then, <laughs> and then when you use this comb right here, it puts up to its highest limit point. And hey, um, David, real quick, what problem are you solving? Like, um, so would this be used for anybody's hair? Can this be used for anyone's hair? All the way into that. Oh, okay. This um, Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. We're going to be talking about a SWOT analysis in our strengths, and we will be solving the problem of damage hair and how to take out your natural ease. It tells you about your hair health, and it's one of the kind. The weaknesses is that the products can break if, you, if it's not used properly. And the, the product sensors is malfunction and give you an inaccurate um, result of your hair. Our opportunities is that it can be sold to famous people and then we can get it out there easily and they can do a review on it. Um, the sensors can be put in the combs, brushes, and picks so that not only people with just afros can use it, but people with all types of hair can use it. The threat is that a threat could be Shadi's Beauty Supply and Walgreens because they sell pigs, brushes, and combs. But they are also an opportunity because we got to sell our product there too. Yeah. That's our SWOT analysis. Also, app design. We're creating an app for everyone to look at. Oh, yes. Okay. Okay. Well, it actually, it works. Oh, it works. Yes. It works. Mm -hmm. So if you follow the, the directions, they keep going. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Deshaun, tell the whole room what's on the app, man. So on the app, from the sensors, on the comb, the pick, and the brush, it will set, it will get statistics about your hair, and like if you have naps, if your hair is moisturized, <laughs> If you have lice, if you have dandruff, they'll send it to the app, and then you can do an analysis of how you can fix your hair. So that's that's how we got our name, Health Fix, because you can look at the health of your hair and fix it. Yeah. So basically, like asking questions about your hair, and like asking what kind of hair that you have and all the symptoms that you may have. So that you can get the most accurate result like possible. Like, like questions like more hair, how much hair do from yeah, we were gonna update that we didn't have enough time.
they they mostly aim at, at, at uh, uh, adult women, and and they, they don't really have a di diversity of products. Uh, and next is our re research development. Um, it, it, in order to to start a company, we we, we, to, we need to have a, a eligible um, that background to, to create the, the, the sectors and a, 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 a computer science background to to, uh, to, to code our apps and what and what but, uh, and, our, and our websites. Uh, and we'll also collaborate with 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 trichologists or or or, or, or trichologists or which are hair experts to to, to help create our, our, our uh, health app content. Uh, further market research to to make different products like 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 combs and brushes. And, and and also business and administrative uh, background to 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 make sure we we make a, a profit. Um, so this is the shirt that I made. See, um, yeah, if they saw the um the app, will know that these are the questions that were on the app. Okay. 
<laughs> well, I think I what they were. It's easier to figure out. I think what they were trying to explain is that it builds a profile. For you. So you start here, and then it's, you start building your health. So now, if I brush my hair, it says, "Oh, Kenny, your hair is dry. You have dandruff." So it analyzes me, and they're like, "Okay, maybe it recommends Head and Shoulders and Olive Oil to put in my head now." So now I start applying it. Then I brush my hair, and it gives me a different rating. Am I right? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm just checking. <laughs> <laughs> it is a question. So earlier, you guys told me that there was a computer chip on the handle to like connect to the app. Or like, how does it exactly connect to the app? Um, the, with the sensors, it would go to the computer chip, and then from the computer chip, it would send the data to the app mm -hmm. to give you your analysis. So there's a computer chip in the brush? Or yeah, because like in another way, it's just basically right in the computer chip. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. so that was kind of like what I was going to ask. Um, it's like, how do we operate it? And what's your problem? Would the pick have um, a charger for it? Like, how does it stay uh, alive? Uh, I think it's a uh, battery operated. I just like to point out something really important that you did. Somebody asked you a question and you said, I don't know. That's right. That is the right thing to say. I've been in so many presentations where people ask a question and they make something up <laughs> off the spur of the moment and later on it bites them. I had a boss and he would go at people who made stuff up and he always knew when you were making it up. So when you don't know something, say you don't know it. I'll go find out. That's really smart. I just want to praise you for that. Great job.